Hey guys, Thunder E here. I'm in Japan. I've been here for a week and I'll be using the Galaxy Z Fold 5. It's been a fun experience, but I figured this video I will show you and tell you how to actually do Japan properly. So let's go ahead and start off. Before we do, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor Pulseway in this video. Uh, they make some really cool technology, especially for remote work access. So stay tuned and check them out. Now, let us begin. You want to go to Japan, you've got your Galaxy Z Fold 5, but a couple of things you need to know. Japan is a fun country and there are a couple of things you actually need to get beforehand to make sure that you make this experience really cool. Now, one of the things, of course, is internet service and connection. Now, you may have T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon back home, uh, but I'll tell you this. My T-Mobile SIM did work here, and T-Mobile is probably the better of all the three carriers for you to just carry your service around the world, but you will have limited access. It will slow down a lot of times. Verizon, you can pay for, of course, international plans, but it gets expensive. I believe it's similar with AT&T. I am not sure about that. But my favorite SIM to use or my favorite service to use is actually Google Fi. I do have a second line with Google Fi and Google Fi works great here. Now you can go with a cheaper plan, but just know yet you most likely gonna run through your data cap pretty quickly. Uh, I would suggest if you're going to be traveling internationally, before you do, make sure you bump up to the maximum plan, which is about $60 a day, uh, $60 a month, and you will have unlimited internet access. So whenever you travel, you have that. I actually had that on my Google uh, Pixel Fold. The one thing with my Fold though, it kept on switching in and out. I don't know why, it shouldn't be the case, but I had service in, in Japan and it worked really well. I was able to also hotspot with service. Now, when I mentioned you do have to move that plan, it's because I used about 30 gigabytes of data in the week I was here in Japan. So just take that uh, as you will. Now, the other thing you can use, of course, are eSIM services. Uh, there are two, um, Air Allo and Holofly. Um, Air Allo gives you, I, I bought a um, 30 gigabyte plan, which is about 30 something dollars. So it's a bit expensive, but it will last you for uh, 15 days if you want to use that. Uh, it was pretty consistent. And then Holofly actually got a unlimited plan for seven days, uh, which was really good and worked pretty well. I prefer a Holofly just because it's a cheaper rate. And if you need an eSIM, you can use that. It will not work with voice calls. You can, of course, use things like uh, Telegram and uh, services like iMessage if you're using it on your iPhone. So that actually works. Now, that aside, going around Japan and seeing the country has been pretty great. The experience has been so much fun. And also capturing it on my Z Fold 5, as you're gonna see on the B-roll here, has been pretty sweet. Now, the one thing you need to know is uh, you're gonna be walking around a lot in Japan, so therefore make sure you get really comfortable sneakers and, and uh, you're gonna be using the train a lot. The train system here is impressive, very expansive. It makes everything, I, mean, I used to live in New York and that's child's play compared to this. I use the train system in Korea, which is really good, but this is, this is on a whole different level, honestly. Now, with the train system here, you can get this Suka card, uh, which I use quite frequently. You can either get it on your um, iPhone, you can get it on Android. Android's a bit convoluted. There's an app you have to get. Uh, you can just put it into your wallet, be it a Google wallet or uh, Samsung Pay. So you do have to get a separate app, so it's a bit convoluted. So I used it on my iPhone. Now, the Suka card you, is simple because you can actually just fill it up or the other option is to get the JR Pass. Now the JR Pass allows you uh, to use it for certain period of, periods of time. It's like a monthly pass uh, or a weekly pass, depending on how long you want it. The cool thing about JR Pass is it allows you to not only use the subway, but also use the trains to different cities. So whether you're going to say Kyoto, Osaka, uh, Hiroshima, uh, up north to Hokkaido, wherever you want to do, you can actually use that with it as long as the trains do fit. But in my case, I was here for a week, so I used the Suka card. Um, and um, I was able to just load it and use it everywhere I go. Now you're gonna find vending machines across this country, and a lot of vending machines accept the Suka card as well. Now to use that payment, make sure you select the IC option because 
The Super Card is under a payment system, I see, which is a bunch of different payments. You can use credit cards in some locations, but the Super Card works well. It works well for vending machines. It works well also uh, if you're wasting your money at Giggle, Giggle locations to win, you know, different like, you know, anime uh, figurines and statues, which I did not win. Ugh, that was so sad. But it was a lot of fun to actually do that and traverse around there. Now, I stayed in a couple of locations in Japan. I stayed in Ginza, and then we moved to Kyoto. Now, Kyoto was a lot of fun, but before we do, since I've been away for a while, how do I connect and also access, you know, uh, remote workstations, especially if I'm in business? Well, that's where our sponsor, uh, Pulseway, comes in. Definitely check them out. Are you tired of constantly worrying about your IT systems and the health of your IT infrastructure? Or do you have multiple systems in various locations you want to keep an eye on? Well, Pulseway was designed to make your life easier. Do more while doing less with Pulseway's cutting edge technology. And honestly, guys, this thing is pretty awesome. It's designed for IT professionals by IT professionals, allowing you to monitor your IT infrastructure from anywhere at any time. So be it in the office, coffee shop at home, Pulseway keeps you connected and in control thanks to their mobile first design. Now, the Pulseway state-of-the-art mobile app gives you real-time notifications, actionable alerts, and so much more. It's like having an IT team in your pocket. Pulseway isn't just about monitoring, it's advanced industry-leading automation that enables you to put mundane tasks on autopilot and decrease manual effort. From software updates to complex automation scripts, Pulseway takes care of the details so you can concentrate on what really matters. Pulseway is designed for the IT professionals like you. So join thousands of users who already use Pulseway, experience the ease of use, unmatched reliability, and peace of mind. IT management on your terms. Now, what's the coolest part here is that they're offering our viewers, you guys, a special offer and a free non-commitment trial. Set it up in five minutes and take control of your, your system today with Pulseway. And it's super windy out here, but I am heading uh, to get something at 7-Eleven. So let's go ahead and check it out. ATM, uh, lots of great stuff, food you can find here. Liquor. Liquor, you name it. Go into 7-Eleven if you can't find anything you want, you'll find it there. Now, we went to Kyoto and I was able to purchase you know, a high-speed train pass. Uh, and honestly, that was a really great experience. Now, again, you can get that through the JR Pass, but since I was just here for a short while, I was going to one place, I just purchased a uh, pass for myself and my wife. I use an app called Clook, and it worked really well. It's great for you to do things like a post gear your train pass, uh, the Shinkansen, or you can also go ahead and use it to uh, purchase different like uh, attractions within the city. But I was able to purchase it and then, um, you know, catch the train. Now, the experience is amazing because uh, the train system is super fast reliable. That distance from um, Tokyo to Kyoto is roughly um, longer than the distance going from New York to Washington DC or New York to Boston, which normally if I drive would take me about four to five hours. This was a two hour, 10 minute train ride. Now I was able to get some bento boxes, tried it out. It was a very fun experience. One thing noticed the bento boxes you're gonna get in there, kind of cold, uh, but it's still very delicious. Uh, and it was a great experience going to Kyoto, seeing the city. That city is amazing. You gotta spend more time there. It was a lot of fun. Gotta spend time with this uh, older gentleman at his bar called Bar Liquor Museum in Kyoto. If you ever go, go check it out. Great drinks, great atmosphere, and it wasn't expensive. Um, also got some Wagyu in Kyoto, which is really nice. Uh, great snack experience for my wife. Um, but the city was fun. A lot of fun little places to check out and see. We got the fluffy pancakes there as well. Oh, they were amazing. Again, fun experience in Kyoto, but we, had, we came back to Tokyo and jumped on the train system. Now, using the subway in the city can be daunting at first, but you've got a couple of friends. First, you know, the train staff, definitely ask them. They're very knowledgeable. They helped me find trains that were on the express line and everyone's willing to help. A lot of people in Japan are just willing to help you out and to check out different things. Uh, the other thing also is Google is your friend. 
Google and Maps works really well in Japan, so you can use it for your train services. And also Google Translate, especially if you're trying to just figure out something or location, use Google Translate, it works out very well. Especially the camera feature, the, the, the lens, it's been a lifesaver and it works. But we took the train system back and we took the JR line uh, because I wanted to go see the Gundam factory in Yokohama. Now, here's a quick one for you guys. If you're heading to that factory, the best thing to do is take a train from Shibuya and you can take the Fuk Fuktushin line all the way to uh, Miktoshinken. Uh, that is where it goes all the way to. Take the express train there. It leaves every 15 minutes. So just make sure you take the Fuktushin line to uh, Miktoshinken if I'm not mistaken, but it's on screen. I'll put it on there for you. So you can take that train and it takes you all the way to the Gundam factory. And boy, that was amazing to see. This was a fun experience. Um, I, I love Gundams. I'm not the biggest Gundam fan, by the way. Uh, I know your average consumer is, and bro, it was fantastic. It was great to see. I got to go to the very top, record it all I could, uh, see the Gundam move. I got some stuff, I got some gear. Uh, it was great. Now it's a whole day experience, so just take that as you will in terms of like, it's gonna take you with the Express about 45 minutes, not the Express about an hour 15. It's, if you don't come on time to get into the right timing to go to the top, that will spend an extra hour. So we spent about three hours there and then we took the train back uh, to, you know, into Tokyo. So that was fun, that was great. You know, ordering food was also a very simple process. Uh, you can go to machines again. Google Translate is your biggest friend here and you can do that to just capture and experience uh, everything in Japan. Honestly, I can lament because there's so much I've seen and there's so much I need to do and love to see more. Uh, Shibuya itself is fun. It's a bit chaotic. I saw the uh, Shibuya Crossing um, or, and it was great. It's organized chaos. Uh, we also got to the Shuchibo Sky, uh, which you can see the whole city. Great view around, also great view looking down at Shibuya Crossing. Uh, and there's just a lot of little elements like that. Now, Shibuya Sky, you do have to get tickets for, and you can use the Poke app that I mentioned to book tickets there as well, if you want to. Um, I went, we, went, we went to Shibuya, we went shopping around there. We found a manga store called Man Mandrake. Do not go to Animate. Animate is like this very, uh, I don't know, it wasn't great. Uh, Mandrake in Shibuya uh, is basement level about three fours down. It's basement level two, but it's about three fours down. Massive, huge manga collection, older toys, uh, stuff you can find, really affordable prices, and you will go crazy. You will spend a lot of money, but things are not that expensive. The nightlife here, the bars, there's so many bars that are great. Uh, for you to check out in the city, um, great places to drink, uh, great cocktails. The bartenders are so just, they, they know what they're doing. Honestly, it's been a great, great experience and I would love for you guys to enjoy this too. But also experience it through the Galaxy Z45. I really liked using this device to record and capture. I'm doing this A-roll directly off the device. And I think it did, does a really good job. Um, battery life has been great. I've had my Holify SIM card on here recording the whole day and it will last me almost the whole day, especially extensively recording around the city. So if you guys have any questions, any comments about my trip to Japan, and also just the Galaxy Z45, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.